Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a build I'm putting in place again for more higher end PVE content, but even for day-to-day -day content, especially when you need to do a lot of ad clearing. I'm going to put this build together that allow you to be the ad clearing person on your team. Now, obviously, everybody, when you're in an activity in Destiny, plays a role. And for the most part, you all do the same things. You try to stay alive, you kill ads, you do DPS. But sometimes you want specialists who can do specific things so that you can focus on your role within the fire team. So one of the reasons for this is that the, a lot of the builds that I'm doing this season are around elemental wells. And what Bungie is doing is they're going deep into this thing where they focus your elemental wells around specific... If you pick up wells of a specific thing and then do damage or other things with weapons that are the same burn you basically get special advantages. So I'm trying to really go strong into that. So my previous video around the Hunter, that was more about picking up Void Wells, staying alive and doing some extra DPS. But the main thing was about staying alive and be able to help your fire team. This build with my Stormcaller, I'm focusing on getting Arc Wells and then being able to do everything I can to kill adds. One of the reasons for that is I'm going to be using Trinity Ghoul. One of the things with today, this season is that they're ve getting very strong into bows. And, and obviously with this, you have three primary exotic bows that are across each burn type. And so for my previous build, I focus on Lamar and Arc. For this one, I'm going to do on Trinity Ghoul, right? Because again, you can use that then for overload. And then with that, I pair everything else and make it a very Arc-focused build. Now again, as I said in my previous video, that does create a problem if you're in a Nightfall or something else where they have specific shields. But... Again, if you have three people in your fire team, unless you're just trying to solo something, you can spread out which specific burns people have or what things they have in their weapons. Because again, I would say that is probably the bigger thing is to make sure you're getting the abilities you want. You can always make sure in your fire team you have enough people with enough energy weapons to be able to take out different shields. So I wouldn't let that be something that kind of gets in your way. So to start off, this is with Bottom Tree Stormcaller. And so let's talk about this if you're not as familiar with the subclass. And actually, I'm getting more familiar with it because I haven't used this as much, but I really, really do like it. So first off, you have Rising Storm. When you, your electrocuting melee ability recharges your super grenade and melee energy. So when you melee, you get energy back, which is good. Landfall on Casting Storm Trance, basically you put out lightning that goes down, and that's actually been buffed as part of the season. Again, that was recently announced in the TWAB, so that's another reason why I'm going in strong into this build. Electrostatic Surge, your Rift lasts longer and it charges faster when allies are near. And then Arc Soul, again, this gives you your little Arc Buddy. And with this, you'll be able to do extra damage and actually be able to shoot at enemies while you're doing nothing else. This is very much like if you're in Diablo or other, other more RPG, uh, RPG games where you have things that can assist you and do damage while you're basically doing other things. As part of that, to go into this, the other thing I'm doing is I'm using Storm Dancer's Brace as an exotic. This allows you, when you're doing doing the Stormcaller, to do increasingly escalating damage as you kill enemies, but also to get up to 50% of your super energy back. Now, obviously, you could do something like, and I tried different things, like Getaway Artist and other exotics. For me, the big goal in this is I want to kill as many ads as quickly as possible. So being able to get to that 50% and then using other things in my build to get up my super as quickly as possible is really good because the key thing with Stormcaller is killing adds. It will also do damage against bosses and things like that, but this is about controlling the battlefield. As before, we're going to, with our mods, we're going to talk about what mods we're used for Elemental, and there's a ton of different options. I'm going to tell you what I picked, and again... There are a ton of different things that you could pick potentially to fit in your build, depending on whether you want to use melee as your focus, whether you want to use finishers, whether you want to use grenades. So what I used, obviously, is Phonomite. I think regardless, you need to use Phonomite in these builds. Phonomite gives you a 25% bonus increase to your damage, similar to something like High Energy Fire, when you pick up a well that is of the, of the same type as the weapon that you're going to be using. So again, that's why I went really strong to the arc pieces, which I'll talk about in a second. I used elemental ordinance, which says, hey, when you destroy something with a, a grenade, you're going to get a well. And so you're using grenades a lot. And the way I have my, my build spec'd out, I basically can grenades very quickly. So because of that, I'll be getting wells all the time. Because wells, for the most part, when you pick up those wells, most of their effects last for about 10 seconds. 
Well of Ions, after you pick up a well, your melee does extra damage. And again, that goes into the same thing. You're basically your melee, and as you're killing more things in your melee, you actually get energy back for all of your abilities. That's one of the things with this particular subclass you get. Font of Wisdom. So when you pick up a well, you actually get your super back quicker. Again, you see kind of the synergy of what we're talking about, trying to get the super back quicker. That allows that to happen. And, and basically, it brings up your intellect to about 100. So if you use this a lot and you can get a lot of wells, you actually don't need to worry about intellect as much in your build. And you can concentrate your points on something else. And then overcharge well maker. Now, you could pick something else here. What I like about it is that you get two wells from every finisher. And when you're playing higher end content, you're going to be defeating a lot of things with finishers that are a little bit heavier, a little tankier. And so being able to get two wells every time from that, because again, you know, I know that some of the, the critique of a, of a well build is, hey, well, I've got to go get my well. Well, if you're already near the thing you're killing and you're doing a finisher, guess what you're going to do? You're going to pick up the well when you finish the finisher. So I think this comes in really good. Now, a couple of things you could have done differently depending on what you want to do with the build. Um, you could do Elemental Light, which when you defeat uh, enemies with your super, you get wells. I just didn't feel... for. I didn't feel... Again, you only get five spots, and actually four in this case, because I will talk about one last mod I'm going to put that's not Elemental Well in nature. But you, I, I just didn't want to reserve a spot for that. There's also a melee well maker, which basically means when you kill something in your melee, you get a well. Again, you could do that as well. Um, I just... Again, I only have four slots. I can only do so many things. And then a lot of the other mods that you have for Elemental are either around Void or Solar, which again, this build is not concentrating on, or getting Charge of Light. And again, I'm not doing Charge of Light in this build because again, I only have five slots to work with. And actually, like I said, four earlier, because the one thing I'm also going to include is Particle Deconstruction, because again, I'm going to go strong into having a heavy that is a linear fusion rifle, which will allow me to do escalating damage against bosses. Okay, so now that I've talked about the armor and I've talked about some of the mods and I've talked about the supers, let's talk about what I'm doing for weapons. Again, this season is very heavy on bows if you're doing overload. I know some people don't like bows and you could also do swords, right? That is another option. But for this, I actually like bows because I can do it from further range. And actually, I found the bow is a little bit more predictable than, let's say, hand cannon from the previous season. So I'm going to use Trinity Ghoul. Trinity Ghoul is a great exotic for allowing you to clear out a bunch of ads. So first off, it fires an arrow that splits when released. So if you're not aiming it, it'll actually go similar to the Tiku, the uh, solar bow. It, it obviously doesn't track, but it will fire multiple bows. And if you're close, you can actually hit multiple things with that. You have Lightning Rod, which precision kills grant the next shot chain lightning capabilities. You can see some of the video that I have. This is really good. I mean, you basically kill a bunch of things all at once. Fork Lightning. Lightning Rod now triggers from an arc damage final blow. Now, that is from the Catalyst, which I would definitely recommend if you're going to do this. So what that means is basically you can get that perk by doing anything that is that is arc as far as damage. So again, if you're using your grenade, using your melee, you're using other weapons you'll basically be able to get this ability and be able to clear a lot of things using Chain Lightning. So Trinity Goal for this is going to be something that's going to allow you to kill as many ads as quickly as possible and keep the battlefield clear for your for your uh, fire team. Then again, um, the other thing I did is I used Chroma Rush. Again, Trinity Ghoul and Chroma Rush are both primary, so you get infinite ammo. So again, that's one of the reasons I'm doing it, especially in endgame content, where sometimes getting ammo can be an issue. You could use something else, but I'm using that for barrier. And then I'm using Tarantula, and what I what my particular uh, build has is I have Box Breathing on that. So if I basically stop for a second, um, I will build up Box Breathing. Then on top of that, with Particle Deconstruction, I will actually get accelerating damage increases up to 40%. And then if I put Font of Might on top of that, then again, I get even more damage increase. So again, guys, that's kind of the build. The big focus of this build is obviously putting everything into Arc. So I can get extra damage with my particle deconstruction, allow myself to get wells so I can power up all my abilities, allow myself to clear out adds with the nave abilities of Stormcaller, but also with Trinity Ghoul. And then with that, I basically become an ad clearing machine that can help support my fire team and provide necessary DPS with this build. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.